Welcome back to KP's King Day. I'm cooking with KP and today I'm going to show you how to make a potato and onion potato bake. <laughs> Bacon and onion potato bake. That's right. Alright, here I've got some uh, cloves of garlic. I'm just going to uh, get rid of the skins and 24 hours beforehand I am going to get one pint or 600ml of cream and I'm going to put these garlic cloves in there. Put it in the refrigerator, seal it up of course and that'll be ready for the next day. All right, so here I've got some potatoes. I've just cut those really nice and thin, as thin as I possibly can on my mandolin. And I'm putting down a layer of the potato, a little bit of chopped bacon, just like that. Really simple, really easy to do. Okay, so if you haven't made your own potato bake before, it's one of the easiest side dishes you could possibly do. All right, I'm using spring onion this time, or scallion this time. I'm not gonna go with the heavy, caramelized onion like I would normally do. This is uh, a very quick and very easy recipe. And all we do is alternate the bacon, the potato, and the spring onion all the way through. Just layer it right up. And as you can see, I've got that baking dish on a separate tray in case this thing overflows. Pour your cream all over the top, just like that. No rocket science for this. This is how easy this dish is to do. And it's one of my favorite things to do, whether it be summer or winter. Okay, just choose the uh, days where it's not like 35 degrees. All right, I've poured all that cream over. If you think it needs a little bit more cream, add a little bit more cream. We've put that into the oven for around about 25 minutes at the moment. And we can see we've got a little bit of bubblage happening. I'm gonna check these to see how they're uh, doing skewer wise now don't be afraid if the skewer's not going in put it back in the oven and cook it through until the skewer will go through the potato some ovens work a little bit differently i've actually had potato bakes before where i've actually, actually had to cook them for an hour okay so i'm just going to sprinkle over some pecorino cheese you could use parmesan of course it's all a personal preference as far as that is concerned this is going to give us another little bit of salt which is what we want we're going to put that shape back in the oven probably about another 10, maybe 15 minutes until, uh, as I said, the skewer goes in, comes out nice. <laughs> right, and there we go. How good does that look? It's screaming hot with a little bit of bubblage happening. As you can see, the uh, you know, cream is actually sort of encrusted around the edge of the pan. I'd love to see you try and make this one at home. It is really easy to do, and it tastes so good with that little hint of garlic and that spring onion. Thank you so much for watching this video. Really do appreciate it. And if you like this video, hit that like button. It gives me confidence. It should make you feel warm and fuzzy too. Don't forget to hit that notification bell. You'll be notified every time a new video goes up. Please share this video with all your friends on all platforms and social media. We are trying to get the MKB's kingdom out there. Don't forget to leave a comment. I love reading and I love responding to them. And I do with every single comment. That is valid, of course. All right. In the meantime, uh, we're going to learn how to make a really easy side dish just like this and it only costs you a couple of bucks. Well, you need to come and join the family. My family, hit that subscribe button and you'll never miss another one of my videos again. All right, I've already eaten this bacon and onion potato bake and I know how good it tastes. And this is Christmas Day, I'm cooking this and wait till you see what I cooked to go with it. All right, I will catch you next time. Bye.